This week is the beginning of March Madness, where every office worker in America loses 20 bucks to the one person who knows everything about college basketball, <laughs> or the one person who knows absolutely nothing about college basketball. <laughs> it's either or. The rest of us have no chance. Once again, we at The Daily Show are staging our own bracket tournament, which we call Third Month Mania. And this year, our bracket is about bullshit, right? <laughs> because we've all been dealing with it a lot this year. And starting now, on thirdmonthmania.com, you can vote to decide what bullshit was the bullshittiest bullshit of the last year. <laughs> For more on this, we go to Roy Wood Jr. and Michael Costa to help break down the brackets. It's that time of year again. Yep. Welcome to another third month mania. We hosed off the bracket, sterilized it in boiling water, and stocked it with all the finest grade A bullshit we could find. Now, we've got two regions this year. On one side, we got the bullshit from Donald Trump himself, everything that he's put us through. Yep. On the other side, all the bullshit from everything else. And it was about an even amount of bullshit on both sides in the end. It's a lot to get to, yep. Costa. Let's yep. dig in, man. Yep. Look, let's start with the Trump side of the bracket. We're all familiar with the top seeds here. Number one, him saying that he had the largest inauguration crowd ever. We saw the pictures. Or, after Charlottesville, saying that there were very fine people on both sides. A good bullshitologist, Roy, likes to look at the lower seeds and find the possible Cinderella stories that could go all the way. For me, it was when Donald Trump, the man who tweets at Fox and Friends and trolls Alec Baldwin for his SNL impression on the regular, that Donald Trump said, and I quote, I don't get to watch much television primarily because of documents. Documents? I think that's what he calls the drive through menu at KFC. Oh yeah, this guy knows all the documents. Eight-piece bucket, four-piece bucket, mac and cheese, side of biscuit. That's the kind of bullshit that can go all the way. Upset special. Trump's denials are all-star bullshit, like this one. It's just a seven seed, but it's got huge potential. That beautiful Christmas season that people don't talk about anymore. <laughs> they don't use the word Christmas. People don't say Merry Christmas anymore? It's such bullshit, yep. the human brain doesn't even know what it's supposed to do with it. it it's like when you find out that humans share 50% of their DNA with bananas. If they do? Yeah, Google it. I'm sorry, but it's true. Oh my God, that's crazy. I gotta power through that. Look, yeah. we have a whole nother side of the bracket to get to. That's right. Trump's not the only one producing Division I caliber bullshit. Let's take a look at the everything else region. Lots of strong contenders in the everything else region. And remember, bullshit doesn't just mean lying. Right. It's really anything that makes you say, that's, that's some bullshit. bullshit. Now, my pick yep. to go all the way in this side of the side of the bracket, mm -hmm. Mario Batali's cinnamon roll apology. The dude was accused of sexual harassment. And how does he respond? by emailing an apology that includes a recipe for pizza dough cinnamon rolls. I mean, that was totally classic. Yes, it was. And the cinnamon rolls were kind of delicious. You made them. Cinnamon rolls didn't hurt anybody. OK, well, it's your kitchen. That was some good bullshit, Mario. But for me, it doesn't top Michael Phelps quote unquote racing a shark. And the shark was CGI. Phelps was just swimming by himself. America just wanted to see a man race and maybe get eaten by a shark, and they wouldn't even give us that. That is some bullshit. I bet you money even Trump was watching Phelps yeah. race that CGI shark and was like, are you kidding me, these scam artists? I'm going to turn off the TV and go read a document. So much bullshit. Anyway, now it's up to you, the viewers. The first round is now open. Go online to thirdmonthmania.com and share your picks with your friends. Really, 50% with bananas. Yeah, look. Plus DNA. You can kind of tell, you know what I mean? Yeah. See? No, maybe you, not me. It's a real human right here. Back to you, Chad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Michael and Roy, everybody. 